Hello and welcome back to S Realmas um, toy videos. Cause I'm not doing an unboxing video uh, for this video, but uh, as suggested by one of the previous um, subscribers or users of YouTube, that you know actually asked me, do how do I display all my figures? You know, do I display all of them or do I display some of them? So, um, you know, once again, thank you so much for your comments and your your advices, your, you know, opinions and whatnot, you know. Uh, so this little video will show you how I display all my 3A uh, toys and other toys as well. So this is basically the top section of my IKEA DTOF shelf. And uh, I've got like three rows of characters set up there. Uh, hold on, let's just get in focus. Okay, there it is, three rows. The first row, I usually pose them a little lower, as in not like the, um, you know, standing upright pose, so I could, you know, get the guys on the second row to be seen. And going closer, this is the second row, sorry. Okay, this is the second row that you see there. Usually I get them standing upright, so you can actually see them. And the last row, I actually have these figures, like, um, stacked up on you know little crates of um japanese liquor that's like the those that you see on the temples in japan those giant crates so that's how i set up my collection and uh, <clears throat> going down this is the seven bones um area i'm still trying to you know find space for the remaining um three bones but in the meantime you know, the other TKs get a spot there. Uh, last row, you get Wasabi, you get Queenie, and you get uh, Kyoku. And this is the latest collection that I got from the 47 Bones, um, Shiho. And he's, he's, uh, he's got a broken leg, so I'm still waiting for 3A to send me the replacement. And Tsuki here. Very beautiful Tsuki. And this little Japanese um, Omamori, or like a... Um, protective charm that uh, wards off evil. I kind of got it from one of the temples in Japan and apparently it is in uh, relatively close to a 1-6 scale you know <laughs> accessory so <clears throat> I thought that was so awesome so you know I grabbed, grabbed a couple of those and um, <clears throat> set it up with my characters <clears throat> and this is my <clears throat> sorry uh, my custom um, Tomorrow King. The hate sculpt was done by a really awesome dude, um, Kit Akira. And uh, well, if you guys uh, are going for custom, I would recommend you know Kit Akira or like um, Carlos in Singapore. They're really really awesome people. <laughs> so yeah, that was my design, and I got I commissioned him to you know do that crazy wall style for me. And okay, going down further. Oh, sorry. Again on the back row. I have the three guys stacked up on the crates, you know, Japanese um, sake cask in one six scale. Those are really, really hard to get if you if you are wondering, you know, those little cask. Um, you you gotta take a walk down the you know old distill um, distillery in in Japan and uh, you know some wine store. If you can find them, you're lucky because they don't come around often. And going down to the third section. Uh, let me just get the video zoomed out a little bit. Okay, uh, those little guys at the back there, those are uh, F Legion figures from the 2012 membership package. I got five of them. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I got a little crazy um, over them at one point in time, so you know, I grabbed as many as I could. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> He's got really crazy looking face, and this is uh, a few of my you know, not completed customs, kit bash, you know, um, however you want to call them. <laughs> and this guy in the middle here with the, you know, night vision goggles is actually um, Rothschild. <laughs> and it's all set up like that. And at the bottom, well, it's just all my <laughs> kit bashed area, all the junk. Um, so forget that. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's just close this detail, sorry. 
Okay, going on to this side, uh, don't mind the bottom, this, those are just characters that I display during my wedding party. <laughs> so, forget it. <laughs> okay, uh, this is uh, Phantom Diplume, one of the first few World War robot characters that I got. And that is the, um, what is that, Jinro Pentacop from Medicom, I think. And that's those two guys at the back, um, Kit Bash, Grunt. Grand figures, yeah, kid bash, kid bash. There it is. Okay, there it is. And back we get um, Barger's diploma, sorry. And uh, two adventure cartel um, finger game characters, but I kind of replaced the the robot heads with the predator mask. And this again, the third row is being stacked up. They're standing on. Some kind of platform or little little boxes that I could find. So once again, three rows, um, top row and middle row, and the front. And here we have the <laughs> into no not into you the yellow hornets. Um, well, I got I got all three of them, but I figured you know the yellow hornet look looked uh, the the best. So you know they're kind of like the gangster style. Everyone's holding a cigarette except, you know, the pink hair guy. <laughs> um, still figuring, haven't figured out what to do with these guys. And I swapped out the shoes for Japanese sandals. We got a gas can in the back, and uh, this section is pretty much, you know, I didn't really um, give it uh, much thought. So those guys in the backs are basically num twenty seven, and I think the fourth num is somewhere inside there. So the yellow hornets, basically my TKs are taking over all the shelves. <laughs> Sorry. And coming to the top here, we, uh, okay. <laughs> it's also pretty random. This act section that was actually dedicated to the Tomorrow Queens, but uh, I decided to cut down my Tomorrow Queens collection. And, you know, so it's kind of remained a little messed up. And, uh, and this little lady in the middle here. You know the boss at the moment. Um, it's basically based off a um, Supreme Nom three AA white uh, character swapped out the head, and the armor is basically it's basically made of metal, and it's it's basically it's, um, comes off a samurai one six zero character from Dragons and Dreams. Uh, I think it's Date Masamune or something. Yeah, it's just trying to play around with a female samurai figure and see how's it like. So basically, this is uh, as Ryuma set up of the, the toy shelves or collection, how, you know, it's requested. <laughs> so, well, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.